Now I told you that the Masjid Ram Shatral Masjid Shatral means in Arabic means half of the intersection of the sacred mosque. Now from that how the mosque came into the world. Surah Jin 72 and I 18. Wa anna al masajid alillah fala tadu ma Allahi ahada. Surah Al Araf 7:31 and 29. Ya bani Adam khudu zina takum inda kulli masjid. Wa kulu wa shabu wa la tusifu. إنه لا يحب المسرفين قل أمر ربي بالقسط واقيموا وجوهكم عند كل مسجد وادعوه مخلصين له الدين كما بداكم تعودون And surely the mosques are for Allah so you do not call anyone with Allah Now why the mosques are built or the place of prostitution are built because they are the shatral masjid al-haram they are the half of the intersection or the portion of the sacred mosque. Sacred mosque has got two things, two acts. One is the tawaf, umrah and hajj and the other is the salah. So Allah says half of the sacred mosque is the mosque. So this every mosque in the world is shatral masjid al haram. I am repeating, you understand what I am saying? Shatral masjid al haram, half of the intersection of the sacred mosque. And Allah says, surely the mosques are, are for Allah and you do not call anyone with Allah in the mosque. So what happens in the mosque all over the world? Huh? It says, it is for Allah. Mosques are for Allah. The place of worship is for Allah in the mosque. So in the mosque, O sons of Adam, take your adornment near every mosque and eat and drink you do not exceed. Surely Allah does not love those who exceed. Now, children of Adam means in all times. It is not referring to any particular time, in all time, children of Adam. Near every mosque, you, what you take, your adornment. And adornment is zina in Arabic. Zina tikum. Zina tikum, zina, adornment. So, you see, if you look up at, uh, there are shades of meaning of adornment. It means you are properly dressed, decorated, smarten yourself, clean and tidy. Meaning after the wuzu, you should be clean and tidy, smartened when you're establishing the salah prayer. Not filthy, dirty people, you know, their whole face is nothing. You have to be in good clothes, everything. When you're going to prayer, you go to an office, how do you go? Tidy. tidy. So if you're visiting a mosque, your zenith adornment should be tidy, best possible dressed. And yourself also, yourself also, Zenith, you must adorn that you are standing in the mosque. Mosque is the place of prostration for Allah. So you must be, your Zenith should be very good. Now, I've seen people, I've been in mosque a number of times. I see the most, they come to the mosque like as if dirty people. The more they are looking dirty, God loves them. And especially in Ramadan, the more, from the far, <laughs> you see, they don't do brush themselves. And uh, so many things, uh, so, so the more they think they are the more dirty and all this, they think uh, that that is good. You have to be, you, let's say, hold you to your zenith, good. You should be, you know, if you're fasting, you should not look like you're fasting. <laughs> you should be more uh, pleasurable that God, you are fasting for Allah. You don't, don't do anything, I'm fasting. This is not good, man. This is not true. And Allah says, surely my Lord has ordered with justice and establish your faces in salah near every mosque. Establish yourself in the mosque properly. You see what I'm, Allah is directing in these eyes that you should establish near every mosque and you should call him exclusively ones, like exclusive ones. Now if you, we go to the mosque, we should be praying and in the prayer the imam leads the prayer and he reads the ayahs of Allah. And uh, we bow and prostrate on the ayahs of Allah. That means whatever the message is delivered by the imam or the leader of the prayer, we believe, we humble ourselves, we bow and prostrate ourselves. That is the half of the intersection of the sacred mosque. In salah we do qiyam, ruku and sujood. So masajid are the shatral masjid haram. They, it, masjid, in masajid, we pray salah, we perform salah. So half masajid is the origin, origin of masajid in the world are the half of the sacred mosque. Remember this. 
Shatr al Masjid Ram, half of the second mosque, all over the mosque of the world. And he is giving you how to go into the mosque. You should be adorned and, 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 and you should uh, exclusively you should call him. You should not call anyone else like sitting in the mosque and narrating stories of this guy and that guy and narrating stories of this guy and that guy. He was like this and who was who? All these names. You should call who? Allah in the mosque. And you should be calling him exclusive ones, as exclusive ones. And for him is the judgment. Like what he originated you, so you will return. And at Tawbah 9 and 18. إِنَّمَا يَعْمُرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَقَامَ الصَّلَاةَ وَآتَ الزَّكَاةِ وَلَمْ يَخْشَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فَعَسَاءُ أُولَائِكَ إِنْ يَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُهْتَدِينَ And in Surah Al-Baqarah 2, Ayah 187 وَلَا تُبَاشِرُهُنَّ وَعَنْتُمْ عَاكِفُونَ فِي الْمَسَاجِدِ تِلْكَ حُدُودُ اللَّهِ فَلَا تَقْرَبُوهَا كَذَلِكَ يُبَيْنُ اللَّهُ آيَاتِهِ لِلنَّاسِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَّقُونَ Surely the mosque of Allah will be visited who believes with Allah and the last day and establish salah the prayer and give zakah justification and who do not fear except Allah so perhaps they will become from those who are guided. Now here it is a clear cut indication that in the masajid you have to do, you have to establish the salah. Who believes in the Allah and the last day, who believes in the Allah and the last day, they will establish, establish the salah, the prayer in the, in the mosque. Masajid, masajid. And these masajid are what? Shatr al Masjid haram the half of the sacred mosque. From the half of the sacred mosque, this is the masajid. And you have to establish the salah, the prayer. And give zakah. And they do not fear except Allah. They do not fear anyone except Allah. Perhaps they will become from those who are guided. So Allah is identifying these mosques all over the world are for Allah only. And they, mankind, believers have to establish the salah, the prayer. And give zakah justification. This is the purpose of the mosque of the world. Half of this sacred mosque. Half of the sacred mosque means Shatr al Masjid haram Half. And further in the ayah says that وَلَا تُبَاشُنَّ Or do not accompany your woman when the, you are devoted in the mosque. This ayah I have quoted half. It is not a complete ayah. It is referring during the month of Ramadan. The last ten nights when you are in the mosque for etakaf or you are devoted for the last ten nights. Ten nights etakaf. In that when you are a man is sitting in the etakaf the, in, the, in the mosque. So you should not have uh, accompany your woman. Do not accompany the woman in, in, the, in, in the mosque. In the mosque, do not ac accompany the woman in the mosque when you are in etakaf. Otherwise, they can go and visit the mosque. But once you are dedicated or doing etakaf, last ten nights in the month of Ramadan, do not, Allah says, these are the hudud of Allah, these are the boundaries of Allah, so you do not gather. Because etakaf is also practiced in the sacred mosque. So here also you can do etakaf. Etakaf means last ten nights in the month of Ramadan. So do not accompany women with you. Come along, you should be do a takaf together. It's not allowed. Okay? Now we will see the, the mosque, there are, there are, I've, the topic was the basajis or the places of worship in plural. There are mosques and places before, uh, so to say, the advent of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Quran. The Salah and the Shatr al Masjidam is from before. Kaaba was from before, all time, from Ibrahim al-Islam, Muqam Ibrahim Musalla, the Musalla place of prayer was there in the in the Allah's house. But there was a, there is a time, and it's still today in the world, people, Muslim world, Muslims are living all over the world, and there are places in the world where you cannot have mosques because of the government, governments. I'm just giving an example, like maybe some places in the world at times where Muslims cannot build or mosque in the world. If it's so. So what happened? There's an ayat in the Quran in the time of Musa Salam, because Pharaoh was the, was uh, ruling at that time. So what Allah inspired him? Surah Yunus 10 and Ayah 87. Wa awhayna ila Musa wa akhihi an tabawwa ali qawmikuma bi misra buyutan wajalu buyutakum qiblatan wa qimus salah. Wa bashil mu'minin. And we inspired to Musa and his brother, 
that you both point out houses for your people with Egypt and make your houses a qibla, a direction of belief and establish the salah, the prayer and give good news to the believers. Now Musa Islam and his brother, Allah inspired both of them that you appoint houses for the believers. For the believers, houses in the Arabic is buyutakum. Uh, buyut means houses. Bayit means house. Buyutakum means houses. And you will uh, and, and make a qibla. Wajalu uh, made a qibla for, uh, uh, of your houses. So you see, in like like for example, this place or any place in the world, I'm just giving an example like this place, we are not in that situation, but if very, any place in the world where people cannot build mosques, they can establish the Salah prayer in the houses. They can establish the prayer in the houses if you are in that situation. So Allah says that we inspire Musa and his brother and that they pointed out houses for your people with Egypt and make your houses a Qibla. Make your houses a Qibla direction of belief, which is the Shatr al half of the intersection of the sacred mosque, and establish the Salah, prayer. So Musa and his brother appointed people the, for the Muslim believer community at his times, and still today also you can build a, 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 in your house a place of prayer, a place in the house, a room or a chamber in the house, where you can establish the Salah prayer if you cannot visit a mosque in your nearby. So people say you have to go to the mosque. It is not a compulsion. It is not a compulsion for everybody to visit mosque. It is, you can, if it is available and it's there, you must go. But if it is not, then you can build a place in your house where you can establish the Salah prayer. I follow what I'm saying. So it is, a, it is from the Musa Islam and his brother Harun is an example how they appointed houses for the believers and they made the Qibla and they established the Salah in the houses. That is, mosque is also being built, but even the, if you are practicing the Salah prayer in the house, it should be a Qibla, direction of belief, meaning you are facing towards the Kaaba. That, that you must all never forget.